What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Now, things may seem a little high definition. That is because I bought myself a new camera for 2024. So I thought I'd treat myself, get something new, bring a, a little a little something new to the channel. So we've got a new camera. Let me know down below what you think of this new quality. Hopefully my laptop will be able to manage uh, 4K video rendering. Hope you guys had a great New Year and Christmas. Uh, I know I sure did. Um, it was a nice little break, but we are back. Time to get some work done. So today we're working on the X5. Um, I've got some issues with the rear light, which hopefully we can rectify today. Um, so we'll go through that. And then I've got a new steering wheel to put on. Uh, the footage from that is old, so it'll be from the GoPro. So hopefully you can see like a comparison between the two. We shall see. But yeah, um, let's get on with today's video, boys, because we've got a lot of work to do and a lot to do this year. I'm excited. I'm trying not to look at... I've got a very intimidating lens looking at me and then the screen sticks out here, so I'm trying to... I just... Quality, boys. Quality. Top tier quality. Uh, we just had an MOT and it failed. I don't know if any of these videos, that it, I probably will mention that in the future, but for now, um, it failed and then passed because I managed what it was, was the... I'll show you right now, I'm in the middle of doing it. The uh, backlight on the X5. Um, the indicator is located at the top and it was like switching earth. So if you don't know what that means, um, or I think it's called switching earth, something like that. Uh, the Basically what happens is there's a, normally it's cor corrosion in the pins. So I'm just tidying that up at the minute. But what was happening was when you put the indicator on, it was turning the brake light on as well, or the side light. So um, that was a fail. I managed to just smack it and it was working okay. So um, he managed to pass it, but when it was a bit of a favor. So I need to get that addressed as soon as. So I'm going to, that's what I'm in the middle of doing now. <clears throat> All the bulbs are fine. I did find some corrosion in the middle of the pins. So don't worry, I'll show you what, exactly what I'm doing in the next one. I just want to make sure that this is uh, this is all fixed up. So, yeah. So we've put brand new tires on the back. So as soon as I put brand new tires on the back, I want to get the tracking done because the wheels are like pancakes. So the wheels have, uh, the tracking has been done. The rear had 2.8 degrees minus camber and the toe was all out and all that stuff and the front was way off as well so I'm glad I had it done it was um it wasn't exactly cheap four wheel alignment nowadays has gone up to like 68 quid but is what it is it needed doing so let me show you what we've got going on in here I don't know if you can see in there but look there's some slight corrosion so I'm just cleaning that out um, this side was the problem side um, so I'm going, to, I'm going to do it on both sides anyway. Right, so I've managed to get this one out. This is the near side and you can kind of see just here that we've got some corrosion. Now, without ripping our nice um, foam, thing, I've grabbed a 12 mil socket. So I'm going to see if these will unscrew, uh, which they do pretty easily. So let's just get these out a minute they're just you can see the corrosion on there already you probably need a new unit to be honest but I'm pretty sure you can't um, get hold of these I do have one at work a, uh, a facelift one so I'm just gonna peel this off just gonna take the indicator out as well um, just so I can move that back look you can see the water that's got on in here so not ideal you can just see that corrosion on the corrosion that we've got built up here so it's obviously affecting the bottom brake light yeah you can really see focus that water's come in here it's probably damaged the bulb yeah damaging that point so I've got some wire wool Let's see back in so we can see what we're doing so I'm just gonna try Clean that up the best I can with some wire wool. So this is what we're left with on this one. And the pin here was really eaten up. I'm hoping that you can see that. Sorry again, I've got to um, get some more light in here can't really see very well but yeah that one there and then on this um, I've just used the wire wall uh, and the um, wire thing on the brush it's not very 
small so I couldn't really get in there well but it's this contact point here that's gone really I'm hoping that that's gonna help it a little bit so I'm gonna clean up this headlight because we've got a uh, tail light because we've got moss growing out of it Check this one. Yeah, that one's all okay. Right, let's um, get you outside so we can get the fit to the vehicle. I need to fish out my uh, quarter inch drive as well. I lost it, fell down the bloody no man's land. You can see these ones are looking nasty anyway, so they're all faded. They need like sanding back. I've seen people like sand them back and bring them back to life. Pins in this one are fine, so we're just going to put the light back and hope that our little help. If you didn't know, there's three 8 mils in the back of this. You've got a higher spec E53, and you've got all the stuff in this back compartment. Good luck on you because it's a ball eight to get all the. This side was our main problem where the live was switching. I did find two corrosion points on the pins, um, which I've sprayed out with some contact cleaner. I don't know where you focus that. Uh, some contact cleaner, and then I just used a pick tool to just. Alright, that's all in. Let's test these lights. Looking at the footage, it looks like we do need um, some rear lights. At least before I only had the centre brake light working, so now we've got the driver's side one working, but it is still slightly switching. I am just going to have to bite the bullet and buy new lights. Like It's just one of them issues where we know what the problem is. <clears throat> um, we tried fixing that brake light, but the corrosion is obviously too much. So that's why it's... Um, it's not coming on at all. Now and again, I have seen it when I followed the vehicle. Um, it's come on like lazy. We're gonna leave it at that. We've got more lights than we used to, so that's a bonus. One more thing we need to do on the X5 at the minute is screen wash, because it's low and it's showering at me, so. I've been finding myself recently, every time I go to Home Bargains, I buy a five litre bottle of coolant, because, uh, coolant of um, screen wash, because this thing takes 7.8 litres and the missus loves to spray it so, I just pick, I, every time I pick, I go to oh yeah, every time I go to Home Bargains uh, I always end up buying one of these like it took the whole 5 litres and there's still change in there like it probably fit, oh not much there, it probably fit another 500 mil in there. I let my dad borrow this to take the Surrey to tow his vehicles down as you saw in previous videos and um, I checked the oil in it because I've done a few trips up and down from Surrey and uh, it had no oil in it so I'm like oh Jesus topped it up and it took about four litres it sounded happy again and I could smell burning oil lifting the bonnet long story short there's just oil everywhere so it's pissing out the bleeder and everything and it wasn't good so I must have overfilled it but when I drained it it didn't seem like much much more come out of it so um, I updated the breather if you don't know it's um, the CCV valve or whatever you want to call it on these on the M57s here on the top of the engine and it's got like a mine had like the, they call it the toilet roll filter or the paper roll um, filter so we updated it to the Vortex one, or whatever people call it, from the newer revised engine. Um, so I put that in. I also changed the um, air filter. It's a bit of a nightmare on these, like on the back of the cover, the one screw. So I've left that loose. And um, next time, 
Uh, the rocker cover gasket is leaking, but it's one of them ones where you have to take the injectors out to uh, do the rocker cover gasket, so I don't really want to do that. Because <laughs> I just know it's going to be a ball ache. Um, and then what else? Do I oh, I need to do a thermostat and water pump on this badly because the the temperature fluctuates. I know um, on the M57s it's a big thing that uh, you have the thermostat done. So also helps with fuel consumption apparently, which I need because this thing is very very expensive. It's all looking gravy. Good old girl. What we're going from? So this is the standard pre facelift um, steering wheel. Then I've got our E46 one now. Everything does line up, but I'm just swapping the looms over uh, just to be safe. And to be fair, um, these airbags are an absolute ball ache. Uh, to, oh shit! Oh, I don't need that. But yeah, it was an absolute ball ache to get out. So I did actually chew up the back of the steering wheel pretty bad, but I don't think you're going to see that um, that much. It is what it is. Um, I'm going to do this screw and not drop it so I'm gonna do that off camera take this out and I'll come back when we swap the wheels around it's only a 16 mil holding it off you don't need to swap the looms around they do look the same but I just want to be on the safe side and just make sure that everything works and no airbag lights so let's get this nut off and that is what we're left with look at that so much better not only is it thicker it's got the bolster in here. I'm really annoyed where I've stored it. I've chipped it here, but it's not bad for a free steering wheel. It definitely looks better. Oh, well, I ended up taking everything out because the, air the airbag wouldn't go in. Obviously a cheaper option um, if, you've, if, you've, if you want is just to replace that bottom piece um, with the M, the M Sport one from the E46 or E38, E39, sorry. Pretty much looks like the same steering wheel again now, but like I said, this one doesn't have the uh, the knobbly bits here on the steering wheel and it's not as thick. So, and this one's in much better shape. So happy with that. Let's, um, I've got, a, oh, trying to figure out why my parking sensors don't work. I've replaced this one now. So it's not dangling down that seems fairly in there but i thought it was to do with the loom up here but it's only one split wire this one's only got one and this one's only got an earth and an aerial or oh, some bullshit in it um don't mind this obviously in an x5 you've got to rip all this out just to get to your battery so i'm in the middle of um draining the rear diff as well so we've got the tires done much better they're only part worn for now but they're legal so much better um, yeah like i said we've currently at the minute just got the uh rear diff draining out um it's just something that i wanted to do apparently the diffs are not great on these so as soon as i heard that um, i grabbed some new gear oil and um, to slap in it so we'll be going with liquid molly uh, 5w90 uh, sorry 75w90 um, so that will be, I like this fluid, it's actually quite nice. So that's what we've got in the compact, um, because we've just welded the diff up. So compact sat over there looking lush. I did just take it out and put some fuel in it. We were running, had some running issues, but they seem to have gone away since I've been, since taking it out for a drive and put some more fuel in it. So that is happy days. So then guys, that's probably going to be the end of the video. We can get a lot done today, but um... I just wanted to make sure, I, well, one, I just wanted to show you the new camera and show you the quality that we're going to be doing videos now. It's going to be sick. Um, if Obviously, if you don't have a 4K TV or a device that you're watching this, then go get one because you're missing out because the quality now is top tier, boys. Top tier quality at CJR Builds Shed. It's going to be sick. 2024 is going to be sick. I've got some big trips to do. I'm going to the Grand Prix, so all that's going to be coming soon on the channel. I'm going to leave you all to it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and let me know down below what you think of the new camera. And uh, yeah, I hope you all had a great new year. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Keep up to date with the builds and the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers and gone. Bye. And I've been counting days to get away.